Well, hello, folks. Welcome back to this Euro Truck Simulator 2 save. I'm the Custer Prophet. We're back with the Custard Haulers. And I've been waiting for this job to come up for ages. We're going to take a load of Volvo trucks from the factory in Gothenburg all the way to uh, Turku in Finland. We're going to be uh, taking a little trip over there on the ferry. All very exciting. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and... Um, the distance of the mission itself is 524 miles. We should be getting there about 11 o'clock at night. It's going to take 18 hours. So are you ready for this? We've been trying to do this for ages. We failed it once because we didn't know quite what we're doing. But as you can see, we've got these two Volvo trucks sitting on our rear. And uh, yeah, we're about to take them away. So how do we get out of this place? Right, now we've got to turn left here. I just had to move my face uh can because for some reason I didn't realize that some trucks had the the bits in the different in different places oh good god right this is I didn't I didn't think about this are we going to be able to get this through god no no bloody chance at that oh no maybe oh no uh, well, let's, um, we can go out this way, onto the grass out there, it's fine, we've got loads of room on this side. What's, th what's going on back there? Ooh, we might just do it. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it, folks. Now we just got to get the other side of this lamppost. Oh, God. Oh, I mean, they could design this a little bit better, couldn't they? Right. I've seen the problem. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the other side of the truck. <laughs> I've just figured it out. I'm on the other side of the truck because I'm in. Um, this is a. Yeah. This this is a this is this is a European truck, not a UK truck. I understand now. Well, annoyingly, that's the um, the map is right behind my microphone, which is going to make life a little bit easy, easier, not easy at all. Anyway, folks, I'm looking forward to this. We are going to be driving all the way up to Turku in Finland. I've been there, which is very um, it's a very lovely place. They have a a as I remember a large. Oh no, that was no, that wasn't Turkey. I'm no, that was Tampere. So I don't, I can't remember any particularly memorable feature of Turkey. In all honesty, right here we go. Okay, we're going to take a right here. Oh yeah, we can go now. And off we pop. So we are five hundred odd miles away, but. In all honesty, it's it's not going to take that long because a big chunk of that's going to be on the ferry. So uh, I will be seeing you shortly, folks. Well, I said I'm going to be seeing you shortly. I can't remember if we did this particular bridge previously. I think we might have done, but we're going to have another look at this because it looks absolutely stunning. Look at this. Just ludicrously nice yep yeah, that's what it's all about folks I'm waiting until the Sun gets up a little bit higher so we can take a really nice picture um, but for those who are watching who do take screenshots I remember Zilla saying that there is some way of being able to take a screenshot or change the lighting of the screenshot so it's not at night or something um, is that is that a DLC or something like or a, a mod that you have to download to make that happen or is there an option to do that somewhere in the game if you can let me know that would be awesome right heading into this tunnel it's all very interesting so far enjoying the drive um, although we're a little bit over the, uh, the limit back with cruise control there we go um, 
Yeah, on the subject of cruise control, thank you to Sam Cattle, who mentioned that there is a way to map a a cruise control resume. So if you kind of change, you, you pull out a cruise control, you can have like a memory button, which essentially you can press again, which will take you back to the previous speed you were you were running at, which uh, sounds pretty good. Oh dear, hello, Polizei. So uh, yeah, I haven't done that yet, but has anyone else used that and is it worth um, thinking about? Right, uh, we are currently, just to give you a little look at the routes, so we just popped out of uh, Gothenburg, we're going to be going past Jönköping, uh, Linköping, up near Stockholm, just past Stockholm actually, um, and then all the way up here to this port, which is Kapelskar, and then we, we basically come into Turku, which is uh, right on the um, right on the sea there. So uh, yeah, not really gone very far yet. So I think we'll uh, we'll make some headway. Balls. Where was the policeman? Oh, God, the coach was going faster than me. <laughs> Damn it! Yes, we got caught by the police there. So uh, yeah, naughty us. But we hadn't we hadn't gone particularly far since we were last together. But the scenery is absolutely gorgeous. We've had some rocks, we've had some beautiful trees, um, some kind of I don't think of their viewpoints, but kind of vistas anyway. Um, so. We need to come in here. There we go. Using the indicators, folks. Using the indicators. Don't uh, don't scoff at me now. I'm I'm able to use the indicators. I know where they are. Right. I'm going to probably. I'm setting the cruise control to 43 miles per hour. I think around this sort of track. It's going to be. You know, it's not particularly bendy, but regions like this. Jesus. <laughs> Things like that might happen. <laughs> oh dear, that was as close as we've been to uh, tipping over. Let me know what happens if you actually tip the truck. What do you have to do? Because it's not something I've done before and I have no idea what I'll have to do. But uh, yeah, somehow, I'm not entirely sure how, we didn't end up damaging the truck as far as I can tell. There was no... Um, or maybe we did slightly. Well, I, I am struggling a little bit, I have to say, with being on driving on the left side, <laughs> being up or being on the left side of the of the um, of the truck. Um, this is um, this is odd. Right, what are you doing? Just, I just love the look of this though. The countryside is amazing, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, um, we've just gone past Yonakoping. We're taking a lot long. I keep coming back because it's just, just really nice. And, and I'm, you know, I've almost crashed and, and had a fine. So all of that uh, is good. Anyway, folks, oh, there's another police car. That's fine. Ignore us. Uh, I'll see you a little bit further down the road um, when something else, uh, well, maybe when we crash the, car, the the truck again. They're probably not going to let me uh, borrow these Volvo trucks very often, are they? Do you think we can nab one of them off the back? Do you think they'd notice we can chuck it in our garage? That sounds a good idea to me. Right, see you in a bit. Not sure what this place is to the right. It looks very impressive, mind. We're just going past, I think this is Yona Coping. That we're just going past. Not sure we're going to actually pick it up, but yeah. Something or other that was. So we're going through again, just just gone a little way through Yonakoping here, but you can see again beautiful water on the on the left side.
you can see a boat there and there's a Swedish flag you can just sort of see it all that on the on the left side which just comes sort of coming past it here but again absolutely stunning vistas oh we've got some planes on the right here we're just coming past Lynn Coping no idea why they those planes are there anyone anyone have an idea why those planes are there is this particularly you know is they, did they make planes here the Lynn Coping tomahawk or something no idea no idea but um, while we are here in 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 Lynn Coping I did want to just uh, mention something quickly Ooh, nice big industrial plant so as we're sort of going through this beautiful countryside so I am going to be away for quite a lot of August uh, and as this video comes out which I think this is probably going to be out on the 9th but it may not be I haven't quite got the order of these yet sorted but this may well be out on the 9th um, and if it is then today I have left the country for a period so I'm hopefully going to get a few videos um, for the next three weeks when I won't be around um, but it's it's going to be very much a skeleton period for the channel so you will be having a lot less content uh, over the bit it certainly won't be daily content you might get maybe two maybe one video a week if it just depends how much I can get ahead but um, I'm having a nice big rest and I yeah I can't I can't take all of this stuff out with me so um, oh is that more planes it is more planes I think or am I just imagining that it could be you know it is what is this what is this so yeah anyway so I will be um, away for until really this the very very end of August so videos won't really be back to normal until then and then it goes into kind of um, quite heavy period for work so it, it's all gonna have probably have a little bit of an impact and it means that in terms of content it's probably going to be a little bit reduced um, well certainly over August and then into September that hopefully we'll get back to kind of daily content um, in September but you, I, I expect to be missing a few days here and there hopefully that's not a problem and to those people who have signed up as members you do feel that um, you want to um, cancel that membership for for August because I'm not really gonna be posting much please go ahead and do that it's absolutely fine do not worry about it at all um, this the chance to then resume in September if you want to or not at all but it's up to you Anyway, folks, we're going to continue on this lovely, lovely drive. I have got to say this is one of the prettiest drives I've been on. Lots and lots to look at. Um, and we will we will continue up to Stockholm. So we're about at the halfway mark, I think, at the moment. See you in a bit. So I did have a question that I wanted to ask you folks about the Scania um, truck question uh, about the Scania truck um, uh, truck lovers uh, achievement and I just seen the Scania factory on the left is that the one that we need to go go to for our to get that achievement I presume it is but I would like you to let me know um, because I'm not sure but yeah we just we're coming through what looks like the most convoluted bit of road I think I've ever seen in my life what is going on here what is going on here look at it it's like angry child's been sort of active with some crayons yeah ever, ever likely you want to go slow over this period dear me right <laughs> thankfully we don't have to go in that area oh we've discovered Stockholm that is exciting so we can't be that far away from it the Venice of the North, as they call it. Got IKEA there. God, exceptional. I'm not. We're not going in there, but I kind of would like to. No, no, no. You don't get to come out just yet. Oh, okay, okay. Looky, looky here. I like this. 
Oh. Oh, it's just started raining. Just started raining as we've got here. Unbelievable. But um, let's just have a little, a little buzz around because it looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? Actually, we're in the middle of a city here. Really, you can really see it. Look at this, love it, absolutely love it. Well done, SCS. That, that definitely um, feels like a lovely Swedish city. But why the rain? Why the rain? I am enjoying this truck. I have to say, I love the um, you know with the lights on and stuff. Um, I like the uh, the speedo and all that. It looks rather cool. No, no, no. We are not doing anything strange here. We are all good. So we've got about 254 miles. I'm not sure how to how far to go until our destination. What was that? Loan installments just come out. Right. Okay, folks, I will see you shortly um, as we get closer to that. Yeah, I enjoyed coming through Stockholm and glad we picked it up. So we might well be able to kind of... We're still going, actually. Look at this. It's a big old area, isn't it? Oh, and then over the river. Lovely. I actually stayed in Stockholm uh, once and uh, the hotel that I had was just like it was a boat on the river. Just this little cabin in a boat it was tiny, but I've got to say, very enjoyable. Right, okay, I think I might must have missed a turn there. <laughs> right, I need to turn. No, no, no. Oh, God. What are you doing? Come on. Let me go. What can I do now? Oh, God, God. I just wanted to get in front of people, that's all right. Yeah, I made a, a small error, but we won't worry about that. What are you doing? Don't try and go outside of me. I'm a giant truck, for Christ's sake. <laughs> My God. What are these drivers like? Right, where am I supposed to be getting off? Okay, so I accidentally went down there. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It was worth it, I think. <laughs> I think I didn't even notice. I was too busy. Too busy getting excited by Stockholm. Right. Screw it. Well, I'll see you when we get to the ferry. I don't think it's going to be exciting from uh, from here on. I say that, but look at look, look look at that, like a building built out of a cliff. It's awesome. <laughs> right, back in the tunnel we go. Right, slow down, slow down. Right, see you, see you in a bit. Ooh, don't crash. Which way are we going? Left. Well, after the AI dis drivers on that island decided not to stop for me at all and just thought that the best option for them was just to crash into me, I'm not quite sure what to think at the minute. So here we are. Um, again, driving... The, the, I, just, I, I love Scandinavia. They have done such a good job. It's so varied. When you compare to France, which I'm, I'm enjoying France, but you compare this to France, there is no comparison. They have done such a fantastic job here to create something that looks really really nice really believable and um well it was just a shame the traffic just didn't behave like they do right uh okay folks they're not far to go i think until where we need to go i haven't needed to sleep just yet i think when we get off the um the ferry it's going to be pretty much night time 
as you can see it's going to be just past midnight when we get there but not sure how much of that will actually be on the ferry um, perhaps quite a lot of it um, okay folks I'll see you when we actually reach our ferrying destination I don't think we're far away from it right I think I can see our destination just ahead of us we have got a red bed but I think we should be able to sleep on the ferry I think that's the thing isn't it so that should be fine if we can't do that at least we can sleep when we get there Cap Kapal Scar is being discovered Not sure if this is a like anything but just a. Oh, turning right here. I was following all those folks down there. Oh, look at this! It's a big old ferry down here. Don't worry. Right here we go. Now my parking might be problematic with this. Um, a slightly different perspective that I'm maybe not as used to. Right, here we go. We're going to Finland. <laughs> yes. Two options. Hopefully we've gone to the right place, otherwise that could be kind of kind of embarrassing. Right. We have slept. It is night time. And uh, it looks like we overslept and everyone else has come off the ferry. Right. We have got, I'm not quite sure how far we've got, 23 uh, miles to go. I think we can just about see. You know, it's not fully dark, is it? I guess one question I might have: Do you can you actually see the the aurora borealis if you're you know really high up and it's night time in the game? Is that a thing? Because that would be rather cool, wouldn't it? Right here we go. Nothing coming, so we're going to come over here. And there we go. Right, folks. As I say, not long to go at all. As you can see. Turku is just down here so we've got to go through Turku all the way through actually and we'll have a look at that as we go through I'll see if I recognize anything and um, we'll pick up a question mark and then we will leave it uh, leave it there for until the next episode I, I, I may have that already planned I may even be trying to record that tonight it's the sort of crazy guy I am <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> Flashing amber lights. What does that, does that mean? <laughs> Jesus. What does that mean? Please, folks. What are these flashing amber lights? I don't recall this. Right. We've managed to stop ourselves here. This is not the greatest bit of driving you'll ever see. But we haven't crashed it. And that, to me... Is pretty much all I'm trying to achieve. I'm so, I'm so confused by whatever these lights are telling me to do. Because it certainly doesn't seem to make much sense. Oh, have we? I think. Well, we. I think we were supposed to go on the other side of that. Right. Right, and then. We're going to come over the central reservation here because that's that's what good drivers do I mean, I'm getting slightly confused by the lights and that that is what I'm sticking with <laughs> when I see a, a light flashing amber I'm getting ready to stop that's what, what that's what my body does but oh dear god so are there no red lights anywhere Okay, here we go. Here is Turku. We're taking up all the road here because we can turn right. I've done it again. 
I've missed the bloody turn off. Because it's dark, that's it. Right, so we'll we'll come down here. It looks, I mean, I, I don't remember this bit. <laughs> But there's not, not too much about discovered a recruitment agency. Cool. Here's the police. Don't mind me. I mean, the driving you're about to see is tremendous. And we're going to go right at the top of this road. That will do nicely. Okay, you're letting me go. Thank you, sir. And then I'm turning right here. Just try and get all that round. Use all of the road. And over we go. I mean, it's been a fun drive. I've really enjoyed it. I mean, the, it's been a bit challenging with this massive thing on the back. But. I mean, hopefully it's vaguely um, going to be delivered without completely destroying the thing. Oh, it's great. I can't see. I can't see a. Oh God. Oh God. Right there we go. It's 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 not pretty, but it's effective. We're not quite sure what happens because it's a quick job. So do we do we lose a load of money if we've um, you know damaged the trucks? I'm not I'm not noticed any damage. In. I think it's just been a little bit on the dodgy side with the driving, but you know that's what happens. So we get all the way here, not here, all the way around here, and then we're going to turn in here. And I know some people would be itching to do the reverse park here, but uh, that's not going to be me. Look at that. I mean, how would you even do that with this horrible truck? This, that's doable. Right, let's go and, let's go and put, this, put this in its place. Right. Here we go. Problem is, I'm, I'm really not sure of the width of the truck if I'm on this side of it. And I don't think I've done a particularly good job there. Let's see how bad that is. We'll just do an auto park. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. It's it's not horrendous. I, I guess we just missed it. We're, we're doing an auto part. There we go. Done. 17 grand. We've leveled up. And we are now level 10. A skilled worker. Uh, and after that drive, I think that might be slightly hard to believe. Um, so, do we go for the just-in-time delivery? I've not done that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to actually arrive at the depot on time, so, you know, why not? Why not? Let's just do that. <laughs> what, what, what would your advice be around where to focus? I'm going on what Zilla's done in, in the past, and that seems to work. But what, what would your advice be on that? Anyway, folks, we are now, we have £90,000 in the bank. I, I did hope, and I'll show you the job that I wanted to do next up. Because we are actually back in Toulouse here. And there is this. Oh no, it's gone. It's not bad, this one. There was one which was uh, £30,000. Um, but there's this delivery of mason jars all the way up to Zurich. So this is fragile cargo. What else have we got here? Cars. 
It's worth 30 grand. So we might well have a nice big job. The idea is, though, we're going back to our truck in Toulouse. I don't know how we'll get there. Fly, maybe. Um, we'll go to Air France. That would be kind of nice. But, no, we want to go to... Uh, we would like to go via into Switzerland and have a look at the... Uh, at the Alps. That's that's the plan. Anyway, folks, um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, as I say, I am going to be away, so it's not going to be as often uh, over the next three weeks. Apologies for that, uh, but hopefully it's not too much of a problem. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you're new. Big thank you to all the channel members. But remember, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to keep your membership during the period I'm away, you can. Uh, cancel it and then reapply when I come back because that's absolutely fine it is all up to you anyway folks uh, yeah I will I will see you on the other side like subscribe see you again bye bye